Previously on Keeping Up With Kira, last time on Keeping Up With Kira, I did a mini Bath & Body Works haul, I used a hair diffuser for the very first time, and I rated Smart Food Cereal Flavored Popcorn. So check it out if you haven't already seen it. So now let's get into today's video. What we doing today? What we doing? We making Red Lobster biscuits. Oh, I'm excited. So if you guys didn't know, I really love Red Lobster. I've been going there since I was like six years old. Shout out to my mom for always taking me there. Um, I love their biscuits. I'm kind of obsessed. And the fact that they sell them in stores now, you can make them yourself without having to leave your house. You just buy the box from the store, go home, make them yourself. Oh, are they going to taste the same is my question. But yeah, so let's get into how I'm making this. So I added the biscuit mix into a bowl, some water, cheese, and now I'm using an ice cream scooper to scoop out our biscuit mix. I ran out of space, so I ended up getting another tray and using the remainder of my biscuit mix and putting it onto that tray. So here is the first tray. They finished before the second tray. This is what it looks like. It's kind of, you know, a little flat. It's giving pancake. But, you know, it still, it still looks good. And next, I made the garlic herb butter sauce. You just add the herb packet that comes in the box and you add your butter. You mix it all together. And here I am showing you guys the second round of biscuits. All right, this is the first round. I'm pouring the garlic herb butter mix onto those biscuits. Yes, yes, yes. Actually, I don't think you're supposed to pour it. I think you're supposed to lather it on, you know, massage it onto the biscuits. But I just poured it. It was fine. <laughs> it wasn't soggy. Review time! Biscuit slash red lobster pancake. <laughs> wow. Here you go. I see the cheese. Smells good. Oh, no. Stay, stay together. Mm-hmm. Mm. What does it taste like? It tastes good. It's good? I taste salt, a little bit. Cheese. A uh, little seasoning like just a little bit. Have you had Red Lobster's biscuits before? Mm -hmm. No, this is your first time? Mm-hmm. Okay. So what's your rating on a scale from one through five? One being the worst biscuit you had, five <laughs> being the best. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a, um, I'm gonna give it a four plus. A four? Four plus. Four plus. I'm gonna get a five. Mm -hmm. A five? Mm -hmm. All right, which one is it? A four plus or a five? One more taste will do it. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm, I'm swaying to the five. Mm-hmm. So it's a five? Mm hmm All right. What makes it a five? It's the cheese with the, the seasoning, and then you got to let it simmer, and uh, when you, you let it marinate while you're eating, like, mm-hmm. 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 Do you think everyone should make these at home? Mm-hmm. Okay. <laughs> Only if you can cook. Only, Only if they can cook? Mm -hmm. Like it? Yep. Ooh, let's try it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I will like it. Is it yummy? Mmm. Is it the best biscuit you ever had or it's not good? It's good. Oh. <laughs> you want to try some more? <laughs> what does it taste like? It tastes like macaroni. Mmm, macaroni. Macaroni biscuits, that sounds yummy. Mm, 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 oh, it make you dance? Dance, 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 dance. Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, ten minutes. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, Mariah. <laughs> Justin, breathe. A nice. Okay, to your food, Mariah. Take a little bite. You don't want to choke, okay? Say, everybody, go make these at home. Go make these at home. It tastes good? Yep. It tastes amazing? 
Yeah. All right. See you later. See you later. Uncle Amos is going to try the red lobster biscuit slash picnic. Yes, <laughs> it. Soft. Smells like it. Buttery. Right. I my back. Uh, you have the texture down. Definitely. I like my legs. Uh. <laughs> I my legs. You use butter? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You don't taste any butter? It's margarine. <laughs> <laughs> what does it taste like? It tastes like. Um. Not quite like. Uh, the red lobster biscuits. It's good, mm -hmm. but not quite the red, red lobster's biscuit. Okay. It's not quite quite there. Now, I rate high, very high. So, if from the, a 1 to 10, I'll give it a... 7? Uh, I'll give it a 7. Could be a 7. <laughs> seven? I'll give it a 7. All right, what would make it a 10? What would make it a 10? Mm. Uh... A little more garlic, a little more seasoning, it's lightly seasoned. Yep. I need a little more seasoning and uh, a little more garlic. So I have kind of a lack of that because the red lobster ones have that bullet garlic like mesh mm -hmm. to it. And um, they don't have, they don't have the, don't have the mesh, the exact mesh. It's good, but it doesn't have the mesh. Okay. You know, just a little, a pinch more. It's good. All right, so you give it a seven, it needs some more garlic, some more seasoning, and then it will be perfect. The perfect. perfect ten. Yeah, that is a perfect ten. All right, do you think everyone should try the box red lobster biscuits at home? Yep. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Definitely. <laughs> Add definitely. some seasoning. The seasoning that it comes with is not enough. <laughs> for your amateurs, this is this will be like perfect for you. Perfect for people who are me. used to eating a lot and tasting food, <laughs> trust me. I used to be, when I was small, they used to have me taste everything. So when you taste everything, you know the difference. This is good. You should definitely get it. Definitely try it. Thumbs up. <laughs> Don't forget to catch up on previous videos.